me clearly, America is not a racist country. Ladies and gentlemen, Marjorie Taylor Greene decided to rear her overrated head and she had something to say about Black and Hispanic men choose being gangs and drug dealers over education. Well, Marjorie Taylor Greene, you are the originators of gangs and your gangs have been around um, for hundreds of years. So you're telling me that the Klan, those men didn't choose to be in the Klan? Uh Uh-huh, and the neo-Nazis, those men didn't choose to be in that gang? Because those are nothing but gangs. At the end of the day, y'all can talk about organization, affiliation, whatever. It's a gang. The Proud Boys, those guys didn't choose to be in there. Okay, you can miss us with this crap. And you don't want to come for the black community because we will come right back at you. It's best that you stay in your lane for real. Stay in your lane, Marjorie Taylor Greene. Go back to messing with Joe Biden, some old ass man. You know, you heckled some old ass man and we're all supposed to be impressed by that. Besides, if we had to really measure gangs, see, your gangs had a whole government behind them. These black and Hispanic gangs out here, they don't have that. They're not as far reaching as the Klan was in this country. The Klan just kind of fell because they started going after their own people and killing their own. See, but as long as they were killing us, it was all good. Everybody was down with them. But see, that's the problem. When you are in these type of gangs, eventually those gangs that you're cheering on is going to turn on you. So let's get into this garbage that this woman decided to come out and say. She, Like I said, you don't want to mess with us. We're, we're not old raggedy Jim Crow Joe. So Marjorie Taylor Greene of Georgia, you, and we know what Georgia's history is on racism, produced a video not long after she was sworn into her first term in the House of Representatives where she claimed that marginalized communities of color are victims of their own decisions to engage in crime. Well, isn't, can't we say that about y'all? Can you tell me the race of the Klan? The race of all of your mafias that you got? Okay, let's not try to act all brand new. See, that's the problem with people like Marjorie Taylor Greene. She wants to overlook everything about the people within her group and start talking down and pointing at a whole different group. And see, we got something called the internet and we can learn about all of this stuff. We can learn it. And that's why so many people know the history now, because they're able to just go online and look things up. I tell you what, you could add up all the gang killing in this country, in the black and brown community, and I promise you, it is not going to surpass the killing that came out of your group from day one all the way up until now. We couldn't surpass you even if we killed every single day in multiple neighborhoods. We still wouldn't be able to catch up to you. So, ladies and gentlemen, she put out a 40-second clip, the first published by the Daily Mail on June 30th, 2021, and expand an extensive laundry list. Okay, well... There's people that can put a laundry list 
up against your people too, Marjorie Taylor Greene. I mean, uh, stop trying to come with us with all this self-righteousness. There ain't a moral to be had among people like you. Get the hell out of here with this load of crap. So generations of Black and Hispanic men, do you want to know what holds them down? Gangs. Well, gangs came out of your people. I mean, it not the, the turn of the century. Didn't y'all have gangs up there in New York that fought each other? You had Italian gangs, Irish gangs. We know the history. So again, who are you having this conversation with? We know your history. Oh, this woman is too much. She, well, you know, she's just like most. So she goes on saying, being in gangs and dealing drugs is what holds them down. Marjorie Taylor Greene, how do the drugs get flown in here? The black community don't have boats. We don't have helicopters. We don't have any of the, you know, boats and everything. We don't have what it takes to bring these drugs in here. Who are the people bringing it in here? Who's bringing the drugs across your border? Okay, these little street guys out here selling stuff, that's nothing in comparison to the people that are hauling it in here. Those are certainly not men and women from the black community doing that. Okay, again, overlooking your own crime and pointing at others. See, it, it, it's just not going to work like that anymore for y'all. It did once upon a time, but not anymore. See, this is why you're trying to shut us down, shut the history down. You don't want CRT. You want to shut us down online. You want to do all that mess because we know you. We really, really know you. And, and then she goes on to say the lack of education is what holds them down. Well, everybody is not educated among white people. Some of y'all are and some are not. But then again, Mar uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, if y'all were so educated and so advanced, then why were you the biggest part of the college cheating scandal? Why are there articles out saying that kids from the UK and US are getting their college papers and even getting people over in Kenya and Nigeria to take their entire course? Okay, there wouldn't be any of these things in existence if people like you and your children and, and people from your group buying that stuff. Okay, you don't want to go there. And then she goes on and says, that's, that's not a white person thing. Yes, it is. But gangs control them. Yes, it's a white person thing. It's a white person thing. Okay, where all these groups come from? Who organized these groups? Who, who organized the groups that we see out here today among your people? All right, stop acting like y'all didn't have gangs. Y'all um, all are so well-educated. All white people are not well-educated. And I know that because I worked in corporate America and seen you out there. All are not well educated. Some are, yes. All, no, definitely not all. In fact, there were reports that came out that said that the majority of your people didn't even go to college. And I did videos on, they said there were more black men in college than white men. You don't want to go there with the ones that know. 
Okay. Oh no, you're not going to exclude yourself from the crime scene here. Oh no, y'all deal drugs. In fact, I did a story on a white man that was arrested multiple times for dealing drugs here in New Jersey, and they wouldn't jail him. They wouldn't jail him. There are a lot of white drug dealers out here. What, what y'all do is you won't talk about it. So you think that people aren't, you know, aren't aware that they are out there because y'all just won't talk about it. So if you don't talk about groups, these neo-Nazi groups and these right wing groups that are really actually gangs, you think that we don't know. We do know. We do know. So they, they, I wonder why she repeats her first word twice like that. Tell them, they tell the young men in their communities, don't go to school. Don't you know, don't you, don't you, this is what, these are her words. Move out of this out of this project, nobody gets up out of their beds in the black community and tell their kids don't go to school. Marjorie Taylor Greene, stop trying to talk for us. Nobody wakes up in the black community and tell their kids don't go to school. If anything, they need to get them out to homeschool them. They would be better off and a lot smarter. Because we know Karen ain't teaching nothing in these classrooms. But she's sitting up here talking about we are waking up telling our kids don't go to school. No, nobody, nobody in our community is doing that. You prove it. This is just you going according to what you think it is. All right. But there is no one in our community telling people don't go to school. Who is who are these people? Marjorie Taylor Greene, give us their names. Give us the names of these people and stop talking all this vague crap. So then she goes on to say, uh, don't you move out of the project. That's another thing we don't say to each other. We don't wake up in the morning in the hood talking about don't move out of the hood. We don't talk like that to each other. You sound like an idiot. Uh, and then she said, uh, out of this project, nobody talks like that. And in fact, if you go to a lot of those projects, they're very much gingerfied now. How did they get gingerfied, Marjorie Taylor Greene? So it, it, if it's so bad and so drug infested and so terrible, then why are your people going in there gingerfying the neighborhood that you claim is so horrible? Man, get out of here. Just a walking contradiction, for real. So then she says, you joined this gang and that's where you belong. You belong with us. Nobody in the Black community talks like that. Nobody. Okay, nobody. And then she goes on to say, the gangs are holding them back. It's not white people. It's, it's crazy. You know what, Marjorie Taylor Greene? If you gonna overlook the entire history of a people, then they gonna talk like an idiot like you. Gangs are not the root cause of what has held back the black community. But then again, why should we educate people like you who claim to have high IQs, but part of the college cheating scandal, having your college papers written by black people over in Africa? Man, please, you don't have a leg to stand on. You need to go sit down and stay in your damn lane for real. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on 
the next video. Go back and heckle Joe Biden. That's about as big as bad you're going to ever be. Messing with us, you don't want to mess with us. You will get badly dragged. Peace, family.